Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Belkowitz, uh, Dr. John Belkowitz, um, and I work on the material sciences of concrete. One of the most awesome projects that we've got going on here at Intelligent Concrete, and by the way, these awesome projects that I tend to talk about from time to time are projects that we fund to get a bigger basic understanding of concrete and how to use it in different applications. One of the things that has become extremely popular is using concrete for this hypertunnel idea, using concrete for mass foundations where there's a lot of vibration going on. And based off of that vibration, we can create a concrete or use a concrete that can harness that vibration, turn it to electrical energy, store that electrical energy, and then transport it. But all of that is based on one specific thing, and that is the conductivity of concrete. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Cue awesome music. So, um, conductivity of concrete has been you know, something I've been fascinated with for decades, um, and that's how long I've been in the concrete industry. Uh, the reason why I like it is concrete is not a naturally occurring metallic material. It's not like copper or brass. It doesn't conduct material or electricity very well. Now. That being said, it's not a non-conductive material, it's more of a semiconductor. And as concrete hydrates and the more dense it gets, it becomes less conductive uh, of a material. Now, what we're doing here in this lab, using this bulk electrical resistivity device um, to identify bulk electrical resistivity of concrete, which is the inverse of conductivity, is trying to identify what materials that we can add to the concrete to either play with the thermokinetics of cement hydration or change up the granular skeleton to something that is more metallic rather than semi-conductive or even non-conductive. And ultimately, you know, working with our awesome uh, intern, Zaid, from the University of Denver, we're hoping to create not just the conductive concrete, but an entire program and process that allows us to help create concrete from an inactive participant in the uh, civil infrastructure or the civil plan to an active participant in our civil infrastructure. And what I mean by that, and I'm going to finish this discussion up with this concept, right now, concrete has one job. Once we place concrete and it hardens, concrete's job is just to sit there. And as long as it does its job without falling apart, good job concrete. Now, that's an inactive role. Imagine if we can change concrete into something that provides some support to our electrical system that becomes part of that civil infrastructure system to help us thrive and survive. And that's what we're talking about with conductive concrete. And we're excited to share more information with you out there in TV land. And we're going to update with you, you with information as time progresses. But until then, Thanks for joining us. Hope you had a great time. Go concrete. Be asphalt.